an LSU cornerback was arrested for a sex tape and not just a sex tape. This is pretty salacious and might get pretty serious if it's not already. Caleb, what can you tell us about this young man who's made a very major mistake? Uh, LSU sophomore cornerback Javian Toviano was arrested as he was accused of what is called video voyeurism. He was accused of recording himself having sex with his college girlfriend without her consent. She's 19. She has apparently warned him in the past not to do this. He apparently records his sexual encounters. Okay. Um, and now, and with, you know, there's free, I just want to point this out. We're Dave and I are journalists. So we study first amendment. There's been free speech issues with, as it relates to porn for a long time, right, Dave, in, in what can be shown and what can be out there. And the idea of policing revenge porn was a first amendment issue for a while, but what's not a first amendment issue. What is a state by state thing is whether or not you can record somebody without their consent. And by the way, Tennessee fans should know that because Philip Fulmer was allowed to record the Tresman High coach without his consent to get Alabama on probation back in 2001 over the Our Mean scandal. Isn't that how that did I did I did I get that detail right, Dave? Basically, secret uh, recorded him. Uh, there's been some secret recordings going on, but not of the sexual nature. Uh, yes, which, yes, that's not what I was saying. <laughs> yes, this is this is a very unusual situation, and I wonder where this ranks. I mean, how would Tennessee handle this? Where does this rank among issues that we see that are more commonplace, such as traffic issues at Georgia, such as drug issues at everywhere? Um, I don't know. Now the pot's legal. We don't hear about that much anymore, but... Um, Obviously, I think domestic assault, like physical hurting someone, is worse. Um, but this is pretty bad. This is is pretty bad, and we could we could totally make fun of it and and do that. But um, I wonder what Tennessee would do. How do you think Josh Heupel would handle this? Oh, that's a really good question. Well, there's two layers here, and we don't know all the details. Did he distribute this tape? Or did it just get out, but he recorded it for himself? I think it just got out to her that he recorded it to himself, for himself. Because, like, if he's recording it for himself, I'm not sure there should be laws on that. That's debatable, but... if, if Wait, that, if not I, if she didn't give consent. If it's for yourself, though, I, I don't know. I mean, it, it's debatable. There there are some free speech issues with that, and, you know, your right to, like... What if it's your dorm? Do I have? Do I not have a right to have a record a security camera on in my house wherever I want it to be? And do I have an obligation to tell you that if you come into my house? I mean, you know, it, it's my house. Did conspiracy Caleb just turn into kinky Caleb? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, it's just the, there are some there are some rights issues. Now, what? I, here's the thing. Am I allowed, if I ever if I ever come to your home? Am I allowed to use the restroom without being recorded? Can I sign a yeah. non consent form? <laughs> Yes. Okay. The restroom. You're right. That is a privacy issue. You're right. Okay. No recording of the restroom. Fair <laughs> enough. That's okay. You're right. You got me. Um, but what or the reason I'm bringing this up is like, I think Josh Heupel or would, would probably say like, if you were recording it, like, because as, uh, as, as Adam points out, what if you were doing it to make sure that he covered his own, you know, what, in case like somebody accused him of something, what if that's why he did it? He is an athlete. And so, I and I do it. know that, and I do not want to diminish victims here, okay? Their rights are the most important. But I do know that there are females that try to use their uh, feminine wiles to date football players that they think may be rich one day. There are also males that, that use their business acumen to try to get their money from them as a financial advisor. So there are, pe there are people praying all over these athletes all the time. So don't think that it's outside the realm of possibility that it it could be for something like that. I don't think it's likely, but I'm not ruling it out that he would say, hey, this girl's been a little shady. I'd still like to hook up with her, so I'm going to record it. Pretty shady. Yes, yes. At the end of the day, it's don't. the lesson is don't do this, obviously. But I'm saying I think Hypo might, it would depend on the level of what he did. If it was a recording and he was doing it and he shouldn't have been recording, I think it's a suspension. If you're distributing it to people, that's dismissal. That's kicking off the team. That's gross. If you distribute a sex tape of somebody that you recorded without their consent of being recorded, 
that is that's as low as it gets quite honestly and i mean i'm that's that's worse than even that's worse than any of georgia's minor traffic violations not the major one not the one that got somebody killed but the whole doing donuts on the road that georgia players keep getting arrested for i'm sorry like secretly recording a sex tape and leaking it to other people is is is, is worse significantly worse i agree with that i want to talk some football recruiting here in just a moment but to close this i i look at nalo sylvan maybe a little bit before your time do you remember nalo, nalo sylvan caleb um i do not actually. super speedy receiver think of a poor man's peerless price Okay. Like not, not quite as good, but very good. And he was in the late 80s. And it was reported that he was accused of rape. And it did, as Meade said, ruin his career. Now, I don't remember Meade, and you may correct me on this, ever getting to the bottom of that. No pun intended. But if 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 he just if he was able to get the charges dismissed, but maybe still did it, I was young. I was like, 16 at the time or he really really did it and that was the situation i don't know but i know the aj johnson situation a little bit caleb you do yes the aj johnson situation in the knoxville da i'm telling you guys in knoxville vote her out when you get a chance okay she is so <laughs> aggressive in trying to charge football players to try to make a name for herself when she has no case she had no she had no case against aj johnson whether or not you think he did it there was it, it's a difference between whether or not you think they're guilty and whether or not you think the evidence is there to prove it. She clearly had no evidence. It was clearly a losing case and put his career on hold for four years in the NFL to try to bring this case to trial. Here's this crazy part of the AJ Johnson case, Dave. For those who don't know in court, guilty verdicts are rendered a lot more quickly than innocent verdicts. I think you know that, right, Dave? Yes. So except for OJ. Except for OJ, that one was quick. AJ Johnson was found guilt innocent. He was found innocent, or he was found not guilty more quickly than even OJ was. He was found not guilty. Now let's think about the backdrop of this for a minute. For those who like, let's think about history of America. AJ Johnson, a black guy in the South, was found not guilty by an all-white jury after being accused of sexual assault of a white woman within 20 minutes. Guys, do you know how like that's that's how obvious there was no evidence against him. That's how obvious the lack of evidence against him was. And I'm just saying he had his football career on hold for four years over that. And again, um, for just to correct with the AJ Johnson situation, the woman never admitted she lied about it with the AJ Johnson case. Or you may be referring to the Nilo Sylvan case, me drinker, but as far as AJ Johnson case, the woman never admitted she lied about it, but she did text AJ Johnson like a couple of days later, which is odd behavior too. Um, so yes, it's, these are reasons you might, but uh, look, this is, this is the truth. As an athlete, you just, it, it's unfair. It's unfortunate, but you just have to be careful. You can't sit there and record without consent. People you're sleeping with, you know, you hey. just can't do it. Well, yeah, but you, just, you know, shouldn't have to tell anybody to do that. Right. Just tell them you're recording. Just be like, hey, this is not going anywhere. I promise. But uh, I do record for uh, personal reasons. For every girl you bring to the room. There's still plenty of girls that'll come to your room if you do that. Are there not? Uh, if yeah, you're an athlete. I would think if you're an athlete, you're in, in okay shape.